Chris, congratulations on being inducted in the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Uh, is I'm going to ask you a few questions, and uh, you know the purpose of it is to let people get to know you a little better. Uh, what got you involved in the sport of wrestling? Being short. Uh, I moved from Hawaii to California uh, when I was younger, and my dad ended up taking me into a, um, a wrestling practice after I had tried football, tried basketball, and at that point, I think I, weighed, I was like 4'10", 76 pounds my seventh grade year, and they kind of tapped me on the shoulder and said, I don't think you're going to have a career in the NFL or NBA. And uh, honestly, I, I got to try the sport, and I wasn't very good. But there was something just about um, the one-on-one -on -one that just really resonated with me. And I ended up having an amazing uh, uh, high school coach in Kent Olson that really guided me the right way that what I needed at that point in my life, he was there for, and the sport of wrestling was there for, to teach me about how to overcome adversity, to teach me about how to get back up, to teach me about how to fight through the hard times, fight through the tough things. And it just m made an impression on me and guided me for the rest of my life the last three decades. Yeah. He's a good man. Uh, what individual had the greatest impact in your wrestling career? That, that's not a fair question to ask. Um, uh, uh, asking who's had the uh, biggest impact in my wrestling career, there's been so many people that have impacted it on so many different stages of my life. Uh, from, if I had to answer the question, it'd probably be my mother, um, her unwavering support and belief in her son. Once she got over the fact that people weren't actually trying to hurt me, um, she always thought people were intentionally trying to hurt me if I had a finger wrapped or knee wrapped that people were targeting it. And I was like, that's not really what happens in the sport. Um, Coach Olson, who uh, 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 kicked me off the high school team and a week later uh, drove to my house and pulled me out of my mom's house in the middle of the summertime and put me in an RV with 30 other athletes for a 35 hour drive to Stillwater, Oklahoma that ended up being a camp that changed my life uh, to uh, my college coach, John Smith, who um, as great as a athlete and competitor as we all know him, um, really figured out how to click in my head and take me to that next level. Um, I would say those three people are probably my biggest influences. Well, that's a good one, all good. Uh, what's your most outstanding memory you have from sport wrestling? My most outstanding, uh, my b best memory that I had is probably my most emotional um, moment I had. It was my sophomore year, um, I had really started believing that I was going to be an NCAA champion. I really, really believed it. And I had gone into the tournament as the number two seed, and the number one seed and I, a guy, Greg Jones, the three-time NCAA champion, we were on this collision course for the finals. Everybody's, like, hyping it up and everything. And I never forget, uh, the quarterfinals, I'm sitting on the mat uh, waiting to go out there, and I made the rookie mistake that we've all made where I watched Greg lose. And so in my mind, I was like, I'm now the NCAA champion, and then I go out and I lose too. And I was just so devastated that I was at the lowest point I think I've ever been in my wrestling career, just sobbing, uh, crying repeatedly. And I got to go out on the backside and pin five people in a row. And when I pinned the guy in 15 seconds for third place, uh, John gave me a hug and told me that mathematically that sealed the, the team championship. And that still to this day is my proudest moment um, uh, just because it was something we all had worked so hard for and it gave me a good sense of the bigger picture that, you know, there's always something bigger than yourself. Yeah, boy, that's a great lesson. Thanks for sharing it. I still cry. Uh, What part of your personality, Chris, uh, do you think has been most important in your wrestling career? Um, the biggest, uh, the biggest part of my personality that has led to my success in wrestling has been something I really try to impart on my athletes. Um, grit. Uh, I think just coming from the Central Valley a little more, um, 
you see a lot of gritty people. Uh, this isn't a flashy sport. This isn't a, a prestige sport. This is an honest, brutal sport. And it's not about if you're going to get beat. It's not about if you're going to get hurt. It's going to be about how you react to it. So I think a lot of my upbringing and my coaching and my parenting that I've had has always been about don't make any excuses. Get up, get back to work. There's no one that you can point fingers out outside of yourself in this sport. You have to continue to get up, have that right attitude. And I believe grit is, uh, for me, is defined by repeated successful failures. I failed over and over in my lifetime. I probably had more losses in high school than I'd probably, I'd probably any NCAA champion in history. My freshman year, I was barely a 500 wrestler my, at Oklahoma State, but I'd never I never let it just keep me down. I always got back up, got a little bit of a chip on my shoulder, and I think that's why my shoulders have gotten bigger over the years, is I just always just kept just getting back up and grinding, knowing that if I, if this is an honest sport, if I keep working, something good's gonna come from it. Thank you. Uh, have you had the opportunity, would you do anything different in your career? I probably would have told my dad that I would end up being about 6'1 and 240 pounds um, and that maybe I could have done football. Um, no, I, I think I'm very content with my career. Um, I think when you get to this stage and this, uh, uh, um, and especially being a Division One head coach, you get to deal with a different perspective because you're trying to impart wisdom and life lessons on kids, is I can go to the to a Hall of Fame thing and keep my head up high with my accolades because I know what I put into it. I know everything that I've sacrificed. I know that it's not, at this point, you don't really think about the wins and the, the championships. You think about the losses. I, I, my losses still vividly haunt me, but I can sleep at night knowing that, hey, I did everything humanly possible to win. I did it the right way. And if I could do anything over again, I'd probably win more. <laughs> Understand that. <laughs> I'm greedy. Yeah. Well, uh, Chris, congratulations on being inducted in the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you.